I'll dedicate it to Joe and Lenise. <laughs> they recently eloped. <laughs> the sheriff came to their hotel last night looking for them, and uh, that's when they found out. Long before there were people on this planet, there were the winds and the plants and the trees and the waters. And the wind of the north, he was very bold and brave. And the wind of the east, he was very adventuresome. The wind of the west, well, he liked to try new things. But the wind of the south, his name was Shawandanasi. And Shawandanasi was very shy and reticent and was never as brave as his three other brothers, the winds. So one day Shawandanasi was kind of blowing through a meadow and he saw a beautiful young maiden and she had golden hair like the sun and she had a dark green shawl and he fell in love and he said, I'm going to marry her someday. I wish I was brave enough to go up to her and just say, I love you, will you marry me? But he wasn't. So he goes down to the meadow one day and just before he gets up to her, he backs out. So that night he goes back to his canyon and hangs out in the way that winds do. And he was kind of punishing himself, chasing his tail. That's where the word tailwind comes from, you know. <laughs> So he says, tomorrow I'm going to go and tell her I love her. I'm going to be as brave as my brother, the wind of the east, and as bold as my brother, the wind of the north, and going to try something new like my brother, the wind of the west. So he sees her in the meadow once again, and he goes up to her, and just before he tells her he loves her, he backs away. And he becomes afraid, and he goes back again, and he's punishing himself, and he says, why, why can't I get up the courage to tell her I love her? Tomorrow, tomorrow is the day I'm going to tell her that I love her no matter what, and she's going to be my wife. So, next day he goes up, and he's down to the meadow, and he sees her again, but something's different. Her hair is white as snow, and her shawl is kind of pulled up all around her shoulders. She looks different, and he can't tell what the issue is. So he goes up to her, and a gust of wind from him all of a sudden makes her hair fly off in every direction like little pinwheels in the sky. And he becomes horrified thinking he's killed her. But you see, Shawandanasi fell in love with a dandelion. 